love so overwhelming, it changed me. Yeah. I'm living the way that he made me. This world just sees me as somebody crazy. Nah. Man, don't faze me, cause I'm going forward, living strong, preaching hard. For the one that died and his hands were scarred, but he raised the bar, he rose up hard, rose and he up. rose again. He's alive today, speaking the king that rose from the grave. My day is paid. I'm saying you caught it, Grace, man, you gotta have faith. You can keep it running, you can keep on chasing. His love is huge through tribulation. Every situation, no imagination. He's a way through the gates of transportation. Testing. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Awesome. Did you all have a good weekend, Ocean Commotion? Yeah. Woo! All right. Thank you for coming to our um, closing ceremony. We'll start with prayer, and then we'll get going. Are you all ready? Thank you, Jesus, for bringing everyone here tonight that you have 
touched everybody here, and I pray that you will work even so in this night um, in the hearts of each of these children um, and all of our guests and parents here tonight, and just help us to have a fun closing tonight and give you the glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, can I have the sea turtles and jellyfish come line up here? Can I have the sea turtles? Come over here, sea turtles. Come over here. Over here. Tanner. Tanner, over here. Over here. Come over here. Okay. Now. Do, yep, I need the jellyfish too. Did you guys like the song Ocean Commotion? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to get it on, and you guys can show your parents and friends that um, we learned this song this week. completing VBS. Can you stand down there on the floor for me? Stand down there on the floor. Okay, the first one, we're going to start with the sea turtles. We have Madeline Barrett. Madeline Barrett. And we have Drew Davis. We have Benjamin Eberly. We have Madeline Eberly. We have Joseph Peterson. Okay. Uh, Finley Rankin. Bethany Rose. We have Brock Seymour. Get your Get your certificate. We have Sam Seymour and Carver Witt. Right there. Right there. 
All right, good job, sea turtles. For the jellyfish, we have Brianna Bridges. We have Chase Broyles, Tanner Bryant. Good job, guys. Sophia Clark, Garrett Fowler, Riley Jones. Tristan Lyerly, Cash Martinez, Micah Mosley, and Autumn Parker. Good job, jellyfish. All right, let's go take a seat. All right, can we get the um, swordfish and blue whales up here? And everybody else, you guys can sing too with them who is in um, VBS. All right, are you all ready to sing another song? We're going to sing Follow Him. Swordfish, Jellyfish, Manta Ray, and Hammerhead, you all can sing the song too. Look up to where eagles fly. carpet I'm gonna call your name and then you can go sit with your line leader okay I'm gonna start with the swordfish um, Diana Brakefield Riley Davis Reuben Eberly Hannah Funderburk Kenley Lemming Kaylin Mosley, Dylan Patterson, Cora Petty, Madison Rose, Mackenzie Stuttervent, Vera Clark, Rene Martinez, 
Aniston McMahon. I didn't realize you were sitting there. Maddie Sweeney. Phoenix Zurich. Thank you, guys. All right. Good job, y'all. Can we get the hammerheads and the manta rays up here? Come on, manta rays. Show them what you got. Come on. Y'all got to come up. Come on. All right, we get to sing Genesis 6, 8. Are y'all ready? Genesis, 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 6, 8. But Noah found grace, grace in the eyes of the Lord. But Noah found grace, grace in the eyes of the Lord. Just sees me as somebody crazy Now nah. don't faze me Cause I'm going forward Living strong Preaching hard For the one that died And his hands were scarred But he raised the bar He rose up hard And he's rose again He's alive today Speaking the king That rose in the grave My day is paid I am saved You caught it grace Man you gotta have faith You can keep it running But he keeps on chasing His love is huge Through tribulation Every situation Or imagination He's a way through the gates Your transportation Garcia, Louise Garcia, Jenna Harris, Damian Martinez, Gavin Perkins, Boston per Roberts, Laney Slaughter, Patience Spitzer, 
and Jackson Taylor, Sean Williams. Good job, Manta Rays. For the Hammerheads, we have Eli. Um, All right, let's try that again. Eli Blair, Logan Burris, Morgan Funderburk, Jesse Louder, Shaylee Petty, Claire Phillips, Cooper Queen, C Chris Reed, Jason Rumaker, Dalton Stickle, Ali Varelli. All right, thank you, Hammerheads. Good job, y'all. We we also had a lot of toddlers, and um, if your toddler's here, um, we have Aubrey Bain. There you go. Um. Xander Broyles. Hi, Aubrey. Is Xander Broyles here? Right here. Right here. Adrian Eberly. Natalie Harrison. Do we see Natalie Harrison? Trenton McMahon. Harrison Parker. And Damian Peterson. Woo! Thank you, Dolphin Dive. We're so glad you all came, too. All right. Next, we have a fun, some fun, terrific trivia. Trivia tidbits. Um, is it? Oh, I'm sorry. We have one favorite song that I forgot to do, and it's Rock the Boat. And everybody love this song. Y'all can stay seated. Rock, but rock, please stand the big up boat, rock, and the sing boat, it for your parents. Rock, rock the big boat. Rock the boat. Rock, rock the big boat. Rock. Now Noah was devoted, a good and faithful man But the earth was a cruel and nasty place, so God revealed his plan Soon he said to Noah, this is what you're gonna Build a boat so big and wide, you and a zoo can fit inside They're gonna build, build the boat, build, build the big boat Build the boat, build, build the big boat Build the boat, build, build the big boat Build the boat, build, build, build the big boat So work on the boat began by Noah and his kin God said you gotta go build it big so that's just what they did When Noah was 600 the ark was finally done The animals came God shut the door the flooding had begun They're gonna ride the boat, ride, ride the big boat 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 Now do the hammer. Now do the saw. Now pull the rope. Now do them all. One, two, three, we're gonna rock the boat. Rock, rock the big boat. Rock the boat. Rock, rock the big boat. Rock the boat. Rock, rock the big boat. Rock the boat.
right. Thank you all. Here are some fun facts that they have learned this week. Uh, God created the oceans on day three of creation week when he separated the dry land from water. But today's ocean basins are the results of Noah's flood. Another one is, watch out, have you heard the ring of fire? It's a huge circle of volcanic and earthquake activity around the Pacific Ocean. And there's a little picture for you to have a little visual. The longest mountain range in the world is actually underwater. It's called the Mid-Oceanic Ridge. And it stretches all the way around the world. It is a remnant of when the continent split apart during the flood. Just goes to show you how powerful our God really is. All right. You guys can do you guys remember what first Corinthians sixteen thirteen is? What is it? Watch, stand fast in the faith, be brave. What's John fourteen fifteen? All right. Psalm thirty one fourteen. Trust in you. I say you are my God. That's right. First Thessalonians five eighteen. In everything, that's right. Psalm one twelve one. That's right. These were our verses that we memorized each day, and all of the kids did a wonderful job. Um. Pat or. Uh, now we're going to have our pastor at Union come up. His name is Pastor Ray. Thank you for having us. Well, I just want to thank uh, you parents and grandparents for trusting us this week with you children. It's been a great week, and uh, I know there's some things that have happened this week that are going to affect their lives forever and forever. And we thank you for all that you have for allowing them to come. I want to thank our workers. Let me ask all the workers to please stand up because these folks have just uh, done an excellent job. And let me just ask you to give them a round of applause. Thank you. It, it's been one of the best-run vacation Bible schools that I can remember, and I know that it's the largest attendance of boys and girls that we've had here at Union since I have been here. Uh, and we're just so appreciative of all that's taken place. There's some workers downstairs that you'll see a little later. They were the favorite workers in the Bible school. Who were they? The ladies and gentlemen who fed us every night. And you will... Uh, you're going to meet them in just a little bit. In fact, we want everybody to stay for a barbecue uh, meal after the service. It, uh, this barbecue was prepared by York County's very best, Tony from Sharon. Nobody can cook barbecue like Tony. And so Tony has provided our barbecue for tonight, and we certainly want everybody uh, everybody to stay and just enjoy a good meal and some fellowship together. And uh, in fact, while I'm talking about that, uh, if you don't have a church home, uh, you need one. And you will not find a better one than right here at Union. So the best people on the earth, I promise you that. You will be welcome with open arms. If you don't have a church home, if your children aren't attending Sunday school, they need to be. And we would just welcome them and welcome you to come and join with us anytime. This coming Sunday, we have our annual th uh, Thanksgiving, Independence Day celebration. It's a, it's a service I look forward to every year when we celebrate our nation's independence, express our love to God for providing such a great nation for us. And then following that service, everybody's invited again to a barbecue dinner. 
again hosted by Tony from Sharon, and Tony's such a great guy and always so helpful to us. Now, I want you to listen to me very carefully for a few minutes, particularly you parents and you grandparents. One of the most dramatic changes that I have seen in society since I became a pastor has been the lack of knowledge of the Bible on the part of children. When I grew up, and that was a few years ago, like some of these boys and girls, we went to Sunday school every Sunday. Went to church on Wednesday night. We went to vacation Bible school. We learned the Bible. We learned the Ten Commandments. We learned about Jesus. We learned about the cross and all the other essential biblical doctrines. But today there is such a dearth of knowledge among children today. It's missing. Well, let me tell you about a group of people who are doing something to change that. And that's the people who work with release Bible study time, go into our schools. Uh, the school district lets them take those children out and uh, teach them the Word of God, the Ten Commandments, uh, all the other essential doctrines. And uh, they do this because they have faith that the people of York and Clover are going to supply them the funds. The offering these boys and girls have brought this week go to release Bible study time. Now, we want to give everybody here a chance tonight to contribute. God loves a cheerful giver. You can't outgive God. And I don't know of a better ministry anywhere than the Release Bible Study Time. We've got two of the directors here this evening, and we're very thankful for them, and they're coming tonight. And we're going to take an offering. Uh, and I want to encourage you to reach deep down in your pocket and give generously tonight because it's the very best cause I know outside the church that you can be a part of. So, uh, Andy and you, who, who else got the other one? Okay. All right. We want, we want to have a prayer of thanksgiving for this week and a prayer of God's blessings upon this offering and a prayer of God's blessings upon these dear people. They give their time. And they give their effort to teach our boys and girls without any compensation except the fact that God smiles down upon their efforts. Father, it's been a great week this week, and I, I could not call all the names of the workers here, but I especially want to say thank you for, uh, for Stephanie and Brooke, who've been our co-directors this week. And Father, they spent many hours up here. Uh, they spent a lot of time getting workers together and training them and and getting this place just simply in order to do vacation Bible school. And I want to thank you for every parent and every grandparent who's trusted us this week. And, Father, this, this has just really made us, just has thrilled us to know that they trusted us to, to take their boys and girls and teach them the Bible. And, and Father, it's just been a, a glorious week. It's been a very fruitful week for us. And I believe, Lord, that in time, Many of these boys and girls will come to a saving faith of Jesus. And I believe it will make a difference in their lives. I believe it will make a difference in the lives of the families. And now, Lord, I want to thank you for Release Bible Study Time. Great, great group of men and women who give themselves their time, their talents, without any earthly compensation because they love the Lord, they love the Bible, they love boys and girls. And they give themselves, but it does take money to operate the program. And so, Lord, I thank you for what has been given this week. And I want to pray now the Holy Spirit will touch the hearts of all, every one of us. And we'll, we'll reach deep down in our pockets. And we'll give a very generous offering uh, tonight to this. And I pray that you'd bless it and bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. While they're taking this offering, let me remind our members that here tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock, We'll have the funeral of Miss Noreen Bryant. Miss Bryant just recently turned 90, went home to be with the Lord Wednesday evening. And the funeral will be 11. The family will receive one hour prior to the service. And I do remind our members to please be here. Hands.
Do you guys like to see yourself up in those pictures? No. I think some people had some fun this week. So we're gonna have we're gonna have Ben give a message. We're gonna give him a check tonight. All right. Okay, Ben has about ten minute message after this is about done. Yeah. Um, okay. Is that is that gonna be ready in about ten minutes? Is that gonna be ready in ten minutes? Okay. All right, that was such an awesome week, and God surely blessed us. Um, I hope that you were blessed this week, and I hope that each of you grew closer to God this week. We're going to have a really fun Bible teacher come up this week, or right now. He, This is Ben. This was a teacher for the older classes, and let's give him a welcome. We had a lot of fun this week, but we learned a lot this week, too. We learned about the flood that would come and cover the whole world. On Sunday night, we learned that Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Everybody else in the world at that time was wicked, and their thoughts were continually on evil. Only Noah stood for God. Noah had faith in God. He lived a just and upright life amongst an evil world. In a world full of wickedness, we must stand for God just like Noah did. On Monday night, we learned that Noah obeyed God. God told Noah that he was going to wash away the evil and sinful people in the world. Therefore, God told Noah to build an ark. Now, this was no small task. 500 feet long, 80 feet wide, and 50 feet high. Not only would Noah and his family be saved, but all the land animals in the world and all the birds would come into the ark two by two and Noah would take care of them. Noah and his sons worked on that, yard, that ark for many years and the sinful people in the world came and watched because it was a great curiosity to them. 
they probably mocked and ridiculed Noah, but he became a preacher of righteousness, warning them of the flood that was to come. But no one did come. Noah was faithful to God. On Tuesday night, we talked about sin and the problem that it is, and that we're all sinners and that we can't save ourselves. Even Noah, the righteous man that he was, sinned, and he could not save himself. So God had Noah to build an ark, Noah's family, might, that Noah and his family might be saved. There was one door on the ark, and all the animals, and Noah and his family walked through the door, and then God closed the door. Everyone else was washed away in the flood. We talked that night about how Jesus was like the door to the ark for us today. If we repent of our sins and trust in Jesus, he is our door to salvation. On, on uh, Wednesday night, we talked about how, lo how long Noah and his family were on the ark and how they stayed there until the flood waters had dried up around Mount Ararat and God told them it was safe to release the animals and leave the ark. Noah, when he got off the ark, built an altar, and he and his family gave thanks to God. We need to, as Christians, give thanks to God every day for Jesus Christ, and we should truly be a thankful people. Last night, we talked about God's covenant with Noah and his sons. God promised that he would never again destroy the world by floods. Oh, local floods will come and go, but there will never be another worldwide flood. As a sign of the co this covenant, God gave the rainbow that we might remember God's promise. The fear of the Lord is an attitude of awe and respect for God. Noah feared the Lord, and we need to fear the Lord too. Noah and his sons had seen the power of God. They had seen the whole world destroyed by the flood, but they were saved by God's grace. We who, were sinner, we who are sinners that have received Jesus as Savior and made him our Lord have been saved by grace just like Noah was in his day. This has been a great week this week. The kids have been great. We've just had an awful lot of fun. All right. We need a few more minutes while we wait until the final count is up here. Um, but uh, while we're up here, why don't we thank all of our volunteers? We have Libby and Ben as Bible teachers, Christy and Jean Bible teachers. Thank you. Then we have some craft teachers, Sue, Pat, and Kay. And then we had um, Tammy, Jennifer, um, Su Susie, that's my mom, and... Um, who else? Who else was in your classroom? Julie, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> My mind just went blank. Thank you, craft people. We had some awesome line leaders. Thank you. You guys did an awesome job with all the kids. They took care of the kids going from one class to the next class. Thank you, line leaders. We have Miss Wanda back there. She did all of the sound and PowerPoint stuff. Thank you. And then again, we did the kitchen crew. Thank you, kitchen crew. And if I missed anybody, Travis, the games. Um, Travis and Matt and Dylan and who? Um. And, oh, Officer Louder, thank you, Gain Crew. And thank you to everyone else who helped make this go. Um, again, we have Susan and Jackie who helped with the music. Thank you, music. All right. Can we have Mr. David and Evelyn come on up? Do you guys know how much you raised this week? $5,000? That'd be pretty cool. 
But you know, this week we were able to raise five hundred dollars to release time Bible education. So thank you. Can I say a little something? I hope I can do this without, uh, with a straight face tonight. It's just awesome to see these beautiful children and you young adults and uh, fathers and mothers that are bringing your children and working with the children. Probably the most um, rewarding thing that I have done outside of having my own children and raising them is working with Release Time Bible Education because a door was closed in our school system for Bible, but God opened a window. And we really appreciate your, your contributions and your help. We need teachers. If anybody has, any, uh, has extra time and would like to be a part of Release Time Bible Education, we need teachers or assistant teachers, board members. We'd love to have you on our board. Um, we need a bus specialist, someone to take care of our buses for us. We do own our own buses, and we have the responsibility of keeping them running. And if you are uh, talented in that way or know somebody who is, please have get in touch with David, David Duncan. And, um, or you can call me or email me. Uh, Stephanie has my email address. But any way that you would like to help it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for your participation tonight and for what you generously give to Release Time. We appreciate it. Thank you all for helping out Release Time Bible Education. Good job, everybody. Um, and Well, here is the times that we have Sunday on worship. Uh, if you do not go to church, you are welcome to come here. Um, Sundays, 9.50 is Sunday school. 11 o'clock is worship service. Wednesdays, we have dinner here at 6.15. Then we have a child or children's program at 7 and an adult service at 7. Um, again, we have a special barbecue this Sunday to celebrate our Independence Day, and you're welcome to come to that, too. And again, thank you for trusting us with your children this week. All right. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. Andy, could you come pray for our food before we eat? Go down. What we're going to do is uh, p children need to go with their parents, and then we can go downstairs and eat, okay? Okay, let's pray. Father, we thank you for a rewarding week of Vacation Bible School this week. We, we pray that the seeds that were planted, that you would water, and, Lord, that you would draw our, our young people to you. Father, tonight as, as we partake of this barbecue, I pray that you would nourish our bodies and, and strengthen us so that we can serve you more. And may you be glorified in all that we do and say. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, children, get with your parents and head.